Before we get started, I have a couple things to say. One, we're in peaceful mode. We go here, we go here. We are in peaceful. It is not locked because we need vanilla or we need uh, modest spawning later on in the game. We are going to start out in peaceful um, just because it makes like easier. Uh, I think for today, to get started, like I said, we need to look at the quest book. What does the quest book say? The quest book says, Welcome to Nomi Factory. This pack is intended to be played in a Lost Cities dimension, which is where we are. We're going to go to the Void World and build our base there, and we're going to keep this dimension as well. Uh, we can do that with these cakes, the Void World cake and the Overworld cake. Um, but once we get to the Void World, we're simply going to use uh, these... Uh, J.I. waypoints, because I don't care. And if I'm going to have cakes, I can get new cakes, like, all the time, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm simply going to use teleport, or use a waypoints to teleport. At some point, there'll be a better way, and at some point, we won't need to be in this dimension anymore. But, yeah, so, to get started, like I said, we're going to claim this quest. We're going to claim these mining hammers. We're going to go mining. Now, that does unlock a whole bunch of things. The first things we need to do is, uh, I guess, claim another void cake. I don't know. Why not? Sure. I don't really care. We're going to use the freaking waypoints. But iron supply. The first thing we need is iron. It's the first thing you need in everything, right? Iron. And it gave us mining hammers, so we don't even need wood. Um, we are going to mine some wood, but we are going to definitely get iron set up first. Um, first, before any of all of this, we're going to find us a spot and set this void cake down and go to the void dimension. Maybe like right here in this parkway? Oh, there's ravines and crap everywhere. Um, maybe like right here. This seems like a good spot to me. So we click this cake, it sends us here to the void. I'm not even gonna bother putting the cake down, I'm just gonna say make a new waypoint, void, base. Oh, I do have to put this down, actually. I'm gonna go back to this, stand on this, and we're gonna say, oops, not slash, we're gonna make a waypoint here over a world. And then we can simply do this. To go back and forth. All right, now that we've got that set, get rid of that. Throw that one on the ground. Uh, I am going to go explore a bunch of these uh, buildings. There are spawners in them, but since we're in peaceful, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, so I'm gonna go explore a bunch of these and loot a bunch of chests, and I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm picking up these quartz blocks as I find big chunks of them because the uh, nether quartz is fairly difficult to come by. And also I just found this drill core. This is super expensive and super lucky that I found it.
Iron Vein. Good to know. Fact, I think, is my inventory is quite full. I checked this one, right? Yep. <clears throat> and then there's ceiling. I think we're gonna go. Well, I need some wood here. So I'm gonna go punch some trees and then build some chests and dump my stuff in the void world. And I'll be back. Right. So I went and dumped my stuff. Now we're gonna mine this pretty much this entire iron vein. This is super important. Iron is, iron, <clears throat> iron, copper, and tin are the most uh, important early game building materials. Or, most, not building materials, but you know what I mean. So yeah, mining montage, here we go. As you can see, got a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of diamonds. Got a bunch of cinnabar redstone ruby. Got a bunch of magnetite for iron. Got some gold. Some more di other more different gold. Some coal. Some graphite. So I'm going to set up some furnaces and get stuff smelting. But first, I need to build this out. So, Alright. I really would like another iron thing. But I didn't find another one. So, I guess I'll go back to mining and I'll see you when I get back. Another drill core. No way. That makes the two that I need. Oh, for the uh, freaking this thing, the vertical digger, already. In my single player world that I have. 500 hours in. I used no more coins and bought one and have not found another one. In this world that I have one hour in, I found two. Alright. We're getting a good start here. Yeah, I wish we had more iron, but that's something I can't really do anything about. Okay, got a bunch of stuff cooking. I will be back when all this is smelted up. Alright. One giant batch of smelting later. We have three stacks of diamonds. We have two and a quarter stacks of coal. We have a stack and a quarter of iron. We have actually two. We have another stack of iron down here with a stack of wrought iron. We have uh, some gold, some coal. And a bunch of redstone, you can see it there in the upper left, 780 redstone, that's all I smelted. Because it's kind of a waste of coal and we need to process that better anyway. Uh, we have 1400 cobblestone, 295 graphite. So this graphite you get in the coal veins. And it smelts for 6 items rather than 8. But I, I've just been using that to smelt because we have a lot more of it and... What is that, 100-ish, 110 coal, and we have 300 graphite. So we're using that to smelt instead of coal. And then I made a stack of this here wrought iron, which you get which you get simply by smelting iron again. And uh, we can use this to make all of our starter tools. So you know what? Let's do that, actually. We need some sticks. And then that should be it. So, if we look in the quest book, we see here we got the wrought iron um, by smelting iron a second time. And then, so we're going to claim that. 
nickel. Uh, we go back to our quests. Uh, that's the one we just did. We need this one. Some starter tools. So we need to do... We need to make all of these things out of wrought iron. And what you can do... I don't know if this works, but... Uh, nope. Okay, so we need to go to... Um, at reg... Oh, I need to pin the wrench. Oh, I'm just gonna type Dar Darmstadium. Darmstad. So, uh, with JEI, when you hover over an item on this side, you can push A on your keyboard to pin it. So, I need a hammer, I need a wrench, I need a file, I need a screwdriver, I need a mortar, I need wire cutters. I think that's all for the stuff. Oh, I need a saw. Gotta have a saw for the, there it is, for the uh, starter tools quest. And these are all saying Darmstadtium, but we're going to make them out of uh, wrought iron. We have this stack of wrought iron here. That's the, kind of your starter tool material is wrought iron. Um, we also need a mortar. And we're going to need a crowbar, so I'm going to make one because it's not that difficult. But yeah, so let's get started with some actual Greg Tech crafting. Let me go to my crafting table. Let's see, let's make a hammer. That's the first thing. And then the easy way is you just scroll through the list. Because, see, there's 31 different pages of things we can make. But uh, we don't want to get too wrought iron. I did not see. Yeah, I'll make it myself. Hot iron hammer. Boom. Step one off the list. Next is the wrench. Doesn't want to auto craft with this, so we're just going to do this. There's the wrench done. Next, I believe, yes, next is file. We need two plates. Make plates like this. There's a cheaper way soon ish. Well, we're going to do that. There's a stick, and there's a file. Now we take the file, we make, I think, six rods is what we need. So, total, we have the file. Screwdriver, we need two rods, the hammer, and the file. Think, think, there's the file. Okay, that one's done. Next is going to be the wire cutters. Yes, and for that we need to make a screw, for which we make, we take one of our rods, oh I need the saw, right, that's the next one, is the saw, okay, so saw, blade, that, hot iron saw blade, some more plates, And then it's hammer and file for a saw blade. Yep. And then we do that with a stick to make the saw. That one's off the list. Okay, next is the wire cutters. I needed the saw because you got to make bolts with the saw and a rod here. And that gives you two bolts. Take those two bolts, hit them with the screwdriver. Nope, hit them with the file. Make a screw. And we can use that to make a screwdriver. We need three more plates, however. I'm gonna make those one, two, three, and then we can make the screwdriver or the wire cutters. I mean, there it is. Bam! That one's done. The mortar. We need to smelt some cobble. Here, let me just chuck that in there. Um, because you smelt 6, you need 11 graphite to smelt a full stack of ingots. Or a full stack of anything, I guess. And it's always better um, in Greg Tech, which is the main mod that Nomi Factory is built around. As you can see here, Greg Tech Community Edition. Uh, it is always, 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 always better to batch craft. And that means to make more than 1 or 2 or 5 or 27 of the thing that you want. 
Um, that usually means smelting everything in stacks and making plates in stacks and stuff like that. So. But yeah, once we get, there's our last one, and that'll give us the wrought iron mortar. And that'll give us the quest, but while we're here, I did pick up that little bit of lapis. I'm going to take four of those, and we're going to make the wrought iron crowbar. Oh, i got to make two more rods. Take that, we take our pile, bam, bam. Roll the list till we see the plus. I don't see the plus. Why don't I see the plus? There's the wrought iron crowbar. What you? There it is. Bam. We also made the crowbar. The crowbar you need all later on in the game. But I figured since we were here making tools, we would make it anyway. And plus, it gives you that other quest. So, this quest here, some starter tools. We have done it. Rod iron is your best bet for a tool material right now. Better materials will become available as you progress. So these wrought iron have a durability of 384. The next one we go to is steel, which is uh, 512 durability. But yeah, that is the starter tools here. And that gives us two nickels, two Nomi nickels. Um, we need copper. Or we need tin. And I did see a tin vein while I was wandering around. I just haven't... Um, I haven't mined anything yet. I'm going to click through some of these click, click, click quests, and I'll see you in a second. All right. Click through all the quests. Got some coins here. Got a, a quarter, which I'm going to convert down into nickels so I can stick them in the thing. And there's going to be a bunch of this pop-up for a while. As we look through, our next goal is to get some tin, get some more copper. I didn't get any tin, did I? No. Some copper here. Should go for that one. Yeah, tin. And then we want to get into these for batch crafting. Um, these are crafting table, book, chest. Oh, I can make you right now actually anyway um yep and then a lumber axe i made a diamond one earlier for the for tree gathering um we can get a free nickel for an iron one there we can get some charcoal charcoal is good um and then we want to rush through all these furnaces iron copper uh, I think it's iron, copper, silver, gold, diamond. Uh, we want to go to diamond furnaces fairly quickly. And then rubber uh, is from uh, that rubber tree that I found earlier. I, uh, in here, these rubber saplings. I want to get a full chunk set up for, at least a full chunk set up for a tree farm here in the next, uh, not very, you know, pretty quick. So. I think that's going to about do it for this episode, though. Um, I'm going to go edit this up, and we'll see you later.